Bruce, final question. Thank you indeed for uh, uh, presenting to us a very entertaining and informative presentation. Uh, really interested in family businesses and success, which is great, but also interested in that kind of export journey as well. Can you share with us kind of what sort of percentage exports are as part of your business? Is that something you can share with us or yeah, talk yeah, about? Yeah. Today, export's about 25% of the business. At its peak, 2004, 2005, it was close to 40%. Um, at that stage, it was half or more America. Uh, today, it's half or more China. And that's been the massive change. Um, and the first lesson we had to learn in China was that you take all the rules for selling wine that you know and forget the bloody lot and start again because it's a totally different market. It's just growing like that. And of course, when people forget, the Chinese are the world's second biggest producer of wine. And... Uh, I was saying to a few Frenchmen at a conference about five years ago, they were going, you oh, know, one day the Chinese will have some idea of wine. They'd make, they were growing grapes and making wine when you lot were still swinging in the trees. And um, <laughs> that was a couple of Christmas cards that I didn't, in, Christmas card lists I didn't get on. <laughs> but it's, uh, the, the potential is just phenomenal. We, we're talking to a group now, they're a second generation family winery in China. And they want to expand, they want to expand quickly, and they want to float on the Sydney Stock Exchange. And, uh, and also start importing a fair bit of Australian wine, and hopefully we get the job of um, putting that wine together for them. But yeah, it's... But the States is the other States now. We're under 72 cents, and that's the magic number. It looks like they're finally going to put their interest rates up. And if they do that, we'll come, under, we'll come into the 60s and then it gets really profitable to work back in the States again. <laughs>